Oh my God. Are you seriously on number six in this series? <laughs> Guess what, guys? It's time to grade. Yay. So this is your grading video. Finally, you've got it all together and you're ready to grade your pattern. Um, maybe you might skip a few steps, <laughs> but at least you can see some of the considerations and steps that we have to take before actually grading a garment, uh, making it fit, making the measurements work, making everything aligned, um, and set up the whole thing. Points of measure and all guys. So here we go. Let's take this journey. So like I said, got it all together. I did make a few adjustments to my POMs and uh, I did not align the hip front to back yet, but I'm sure I will do that at some point during this video. But in order to start grading, we need to make sure that we have all of our sizes. So here are all of my uh, Alvanon sizes uh, forms. They have their own folder because they have three views that we can go ahead and use uh, for our simulations. So right now in each folder, I have, um, yeah, I'm not going to try to redrape anything at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and start to load my sizes up so that I could uh, parent the size to the avatar. So whatever size that I'm going to grade, it actually needs to be pointed to an avatar. But what you're going to see here is step number one, and that is to save this garment out as hey, I got ahead of myself, to save this project file as a garment. So this is the first step that we're going to do because before we can do any of that, um, we want to make sure that we have this saved somewhere as our finalized pattern before grading. So we're going to save this out and we're going to make sure that we can uh, grab any measurements that we need from the avatar with these tools below here. And you're going to just see that... Uh, basically all of the 2d tools not everything applies to this avatar so with your clo 3d avatars all the tools definitely apply but for redraping and all that kind of stuff we have to um go ahead and do that manually because we're using alvanon forms but let's go ahead and start we're going to talk about auto grading in another instance but right now we're going to do manual grading because that's really where the technique comes into play uh best i did a video about auto grading and i wasn't quite happy there are a few uh things that have updated since then and one is actually what i've learned about auto grading that's my upgrade so i'm going to upgrade you guys to that also but right now let's get this thing saved as a garment and then we're going to start to load our avatar sizes. And now we see our folders are there. We see all of our annotations and all of our POMs and we are ready to rock and roll. So let's do it already. So once we've saved our garment out, um as a garment once we save that garment as a garment we're going to go ahead and pull it back in and let it start as a new fresh file from the actual garment pack now i don't want to kid myself but i believe that it won't work without doing that but towards the end of this video i figured out that it should work exactly the same but you want to make sure that you're in the actual garment file so the garment is going to actually fit because it was made for this avatar. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it in. We have this saved out. We're gonna go ahead and pull it in. And this is uh, labeled as grading. So we're gonna go ahead and use this saved pattern for grading. Now we're gonna go ahead and we see we got our size six, which matches back to the avatar that we have. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start assigning sizes and start loading up different avatars to match with these size. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, yeah, it's giving me a little warning that my points are going to change to grading points. So this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. 
all of your uh, corner points and hard points, those will be converted into grading points. So we see that we had cleaned up the pattern quite a bit. We got rid of the armhole points, we got rid of the extra points on the uh, on the sleeve. Uh, the only ones we didn't get rid of is uh, the points on the hip. So I see that I have points on the hip in the front pattern and I think I don't have any on the back pattern. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, just finalize everything and make sure that the points that I have are great points. So now I'm going to go to um, the other part is pair the avatar. So I'm going to go ahead and pair this particular avatar that I have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pair this avatar with the Cloth 3D, I'm sorry, with the Alvinon avatar. So the avatar that's being used is not paired, so you have to pair it. This is what I suggest you do first, is go ahead and pair it into the A poles that you have. And I'm gonna do that in just a second. I'm gonna pair it to the A poles. It looks like I have duplicates in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and pair one to the A poles, okay? So um, now my avatar is paired, but what about my size eight? So I have a size eight that's not graded, but I can still go ahead and pair the size eight avatar with it. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna pair all of my avatars. And this will work exactly the same if you have a folder that has all of your Clo 3D avatars or other third-party avatars that are sized appropriately. So if you've already built out your sizes with your avatars, then this is where you can go and pair them each to each size. And we're going to see how that's used in a little bit. So here's one of the things that was a little bit tricky for me to uh, realize. Once I was dealing with these sizes, there are two plus buttons. So at the top, it's not labeled, but it kind of looks like that's where you add your size. That is not where you add your size. You highlight your group and you add your size underneath your group. So the top add button is to add another group of grading. So say you were doing this pattern in small sizes and doing the pattern in large sizes. So you might want to make two groups for that. However, I don't need that. So I just need to add the additional sizes underneath the same group and they will all be grouped together as one pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and label these uh, by twos, which is how my avatars are sized. And I'm going to go ahead and then match back to each avatar from Alvinon. So that part I'm going to spin a little bit forward, fast forward for you. Okay, so we're back. Um, one of the things I will say is that this is not a uh, project that you can do <laughs> while 
I don't know, painting your nails or doing something frivolous, this has to, uh, you need to pay a little bit close attention. There's a mistake that I made. I added my size four as a last size, not realizing that I've already uh, missed the size. So that's one of the things that you'll want to watch out for. But I've got all my sizes matched up and now any point that I click will give me uh, my grade rule editor in the property editor. So the property of that grade rule of that point. So each point gets a rule. So each point gets a, uh, I guess, an amount to grow or shrink in a different direction. So you see that there is uh, a few things to note. So let's talk about that for a second. So this is a grid. This is basically a grid of X and of Y. So all of your movements are caught in between the X and the Y. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, that's me fooling around with PowerPoint. Uh, so I cut that out. <laughs> but basically you have your X and you have your Y. So each point is gonna grade width wise and height wise according to how the body grows there are a few books i will link in the description of this particular video that will help you grading grading books that i use for grading reference and uh body growth reference and this is not just about size this is about how the body grows in proportion to itself meaning if you're growing taller where are you growing taller? Are you growing more in the legs? Are you growing more uh, between your shoulders and your head? Are you growing more uh, circumference wise? So I am just marking out right now where my grade points are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how I want these things to grade up and down. So basically, like I said, it's a X and a Y formula that you can use. It's not always going to be symmetrical for every point because there are points in between this is where you have your uh, your uh, points of measure those points of measure will also need grading you might have to add a point there or you will have to just take note of the gradation of the grade if that makes sense <laughs> okay so you have to see how the grade is actually changing between your two points and that should also be evenly graded but not every point is going to grade so if you end up needing to grade a point then you have to add a point just to make things look smooth and linear okay so this is what grading is all about so we're gonna give this back and now we're gonna talk about our patterns So this is just something that I do as an exercise to figure out my grading and where I want to see things change. 
So right now, um, I'm going to give you a couple of references. That was me looking up the reference links. But I'm going to give you a couple of references. But at this point now, I've kind of gathered to where I want the X and the Y uh, grading to go. So right now, for each point, I'm realizing that I may need to add certain points to my pattern in order to get it graded properly. But here's the, time, here's the thing. Let's talk about it and let's figure out if we actually need all these points. Because my chest is going to grow differently than my shoulders, at the midpoint, I'm going to add a point, mid armhole, so that if I need to control that grade point, then I'll be able to control that grade point. If I need to control anything on the hip from the growth of the difference of the hip, the difference of the waist, which should be no grading difference, um, these are the points that I will need to control my POM measurements. So if there's a pattern measurement that doesn't match what you want from your tech pack or what you want from your grade rule, you can add that point and then you can go ahead and modify the grade accordingly. So this is just uh, the tedious time. Some of you really love this grading, but this is where it becomes uh, firsthand knowledge of how to grade. You will have some trial and errors, and I will say that with Clo 3 d it does help you out quite a bit. So let's go through and uh, get to the second part of adding the actual graded measurements. And this is where it takes the most time to figure out. So you better believe I'm going to fast forward a lot during that time. But here I am just adding my grade points, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, start to actually grade point by point by point for manual grading okay sounds like manual labor kind of is <laughs> but enjoy the rest and you almost made it don't forget there's a prize at the end it's gonna be a cool download all right Okay, I'm just jumping back in here because I realized there's an important key that I left out before I decide to exit the whole uh, grading tutorial right now. I've written out the different grade rules that I want to use by size. So basically my chest width is growing one to one and a half inches on the larger size. Uh, my height one and a half, but I have to split it up between uh, the top half, the middle half and the bottom half. So there are things that you will need to calculate or follow some kind of formula in order to get to the grading rule uh, for the size that you have intended to grade. So whatever your grading is, you can get to it. 